Hey guys, it's Lego Boys E3. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the skube. So the skube is actually a really interesting and fun cube to learn how to solve, and it's actually a lot easier to learn than the normal 3x3. In fact, for this method, you're only going to need to know one algorithm, which, if you don't know, is a sequence of moves to move pieces around on the cube, and that algorithm is only four moves. Now, I'm not requiring you guys know how to solve a normal 3x3 before you learn this method, but you should have a basic understanding of how pieces move around on this cube, and so if you don't know that already, you can just mess around with the cube and figure out how pieces move. Okay, so now that we have it all scrambled up, we can begin. And just to note, I'm going to be starting with the white side. And so the first step in this method is to get a white layer. And so basically what that means is you have the centerpiece right here, the big one, and the four corners that go around it all in the right place. You need to make sure that these pieces are the same color. It can be wrong. You can have it something like this, where they're not the same color on every side. And this would be incorrect. Now the first step of the first layer is to find the white centerpiece. And so that's right here. We're going to be basing everything around that. And so now we can find a corner piece that we want to put next to that. And so in this case, I see one that's down on the bottom layer. And in most cases, you're just going to want to find one that's already on the bottom layer. And so in this case, you can bring it up in this direction, and it will match it up with white just like that. And so there we go. We have the first piece already. And so now we can find the piece that needs to go next to it. And so in this case, it would be the other corner piece that has white and green on it. And so if we look around the cube, we can find that it's over here. And we need to bring this up to be next to this one. But you see, if we just bring it up like this, that's not correct because it's not oriented correctly. And if we bring it up like this, it's not in the right spot. And so instead, what you're going to want to do with this piece is you want to rotate it in place like this. You can rotate it freely as long as you don't mess anything up. Rotate it in place until it is in the right orientation. And so you see now it is in the right orientation because we can bring it up and match it up with its piece. Same thing goes for the next piece. You see we have white and red. We have the white and red piece right here. It can't go up directly, so we can rotate it first and bring it in. And then finally for the very last piece, which is over here, you might see that if we rotate it like this, you'll mess up the piece that you already have. But in this case, it's okay because once we bring it up, we can just bring that piece back and now we have the full layer. Now, if you're making the layer and the piece that you want to put right here, which is this one in this case, is facing downwards like this, you can just do the same thing. You rotate it and you bring it up to the top. But you need to be a little bit cautious when it's facing downwards and there's a piece on top of it. If there is a piece on top of it, you can't just rotate it because you're totally messing this piece up and you'll rotate it in place when it gets back to that spot. And so instead, what you want to do, if you have this piece over here and you want to get it up here in the correct orientation, is instead move it all the way over to this side of the cube instead of this side. And now we have the case that we had just a minute ago, and we can bring it up just like that. And this should be pretty self-explanatory, but if you have no white pieces on the bottom layer that you can bring up, it's probably in the empty slot. And so we can bring that down first, and then move it in to the first layer. And there we go. Now it is complete. And so like I mentioned at the beginning, besides those special extra cases, this step is completely intuitive. And so if you can't figure it out from this tutorial, just mess around with it until you get the white layer and you'll eventually figure it out. Now, the next step after that is to get the four yellow corners on the opposite side facing upwards. Now, once you get to this step, there are only three cases that you can possibly get. So just looking at the corners, you see we can either have two of them facing up and two of them facing out like this. You can have a case where you have two of them facing outwards and two of them opposite, or you can have a case where they're all already solved. And so we'll start off the case where you have two of them up like this and two of them at opposite directions. And what you want to do is you want to hold it like this. So you see one of them's at the front and one of them's at the left, and these two are up, and you see white still on the bottom. And what we want to do is we want to perform our first algorithm. And so that algorithm is you turn the right side downwards, you turn the left side downwards, you turn the right side back up, and then the left side back up. Very simple, it's just down, down, up, up. And once you do that, you'll end up with this case where you have these two facing outwards and these two opposite. And so if you just did that algorithm to get to this case, or if you started with this case, you can now do that algorithm again. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold these two pieces to the right like this and do the algorithm again. So right side down, left side down, right side up, left side up, and all four corners are solved. And so the next step is to get this yellow center to be on top. And so this is very simple to do. All you wanna do is hold the yellow center so it's in the back. And you wanna do that algorithm once. So right side down, left side down, right side up, left side up. 
turn the whole cube around 180 degrees like that and do the same thing. And there we go, now yellow is on top. And so now we're almost done. What we want to do to finish it off is to solve these three or sometimes even four center pieces. They'll be kind of going in a circle like this. And so the one basic case is where you just have the three like this. And the way that you recognize how to hold it is you use opposite colors. So in this case, we have red and orange in the front. And if you look on a normal cube or just any cube in general, you'll have orange opposite of red. And so these are opposite colors. And so if you have two opposite colors in the front, that means you're good. Now, if you have the three pieces like this and these colors are not opposite, so in this case, orange and green are not opposite, they're next to each other, you just want to move it around. So the three colors will be like this. And so what we want to do is we just want to do that same algorithm. So bring that down, down, up, up, turn the whole cube around, down, down, up, up. And now we have this cube solved. Now, like I mentioned, you could also have four center pieces that need to be moved around like this. And what you want to do in this case is just turn it. So you have three unsolved pieces like this. You do the algorithm, turn it around, do it again. And now you have a similar case to what we had before. So in this case, we can tell that blue and green are opposite colors. We put those in the front and do it once again. And there we go, now our cube is once again solved. The same thing goes for this case where you have the four pieces around like this. You just do the algorithm once, turn it around, do it again. And now we have opposite colors in the front. Do the algorithm once, turn it around, do it again. And this cube is solved, which means that this tutorial is pretty much over. I've covered all the different cases for all the different steps of solving this cube, and so if you are having any problems with this method, then be sure to leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible addressing your question. But for the most part, all you have to do is intuitively move pieces around at the start, and then follow all the simple algorithm guides that I showed you in this video, and you'll be good solving this cube. So I hope this tutorial did help you. If it did, then be sure to leave a like down below to show me that you liked it. Leave some suggestions down in the comments below for other tutorials that I can make like this in the future. And also stay subscribed to be notified when the next video like this comes out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!